First person this week, a first place winner. Kayla Martell is the newly crowned Miss Delaware 2010, and she will be representing the first state well in the Miss America pageant. And when it comes to her platform, she's not just talking about a cause, she's living it. The 21-year-old Milford native, native is our first person this week. Kayla, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. You've gone out for this title for a few years. Yes. Why was this year <laughs> Kayla's year? This year I just wanted to be the best version of myself. I worked hard to perfect uh, the skills that I already had and I honed into what I wanted to represent and the person that I wanted to be on the stage. Okay, and it, it went very well for you. You <laughs> yes, know, it was, this a, year was my year. <laughs> it, it definitely was your year. Tell us a little bit about your platform and, you know, it was so heartfelt because you have some personal experience with it. Yes, I'll be representing the National Alopecia Arietta Foundation at the Miss America pageant and I picked this platform because I've had alopecia areata myself for over 11 years now. And what is that? <laughs> it's an autoimmune disorder and basically it means that you lose your hair and there's no cure and there's really no treatment for it either. Um, generally, I'm healthy in all other aspects of my life. I just happen to lose my hair. And I think most people, that, that does that surprise them when you, fir when you first tell <laughs> yes, them that? Yes, of course, because people see me just as I am right now. And uh, I, I usually have to tell people, I'm actually wearing a wig right now. And I wore a wig at the competition for Miss Delaware. And I think I'll be wearing the wig again at Miss America, too. But sometimes I make appearances with it. And sometimes I make appearances without it, just depending on where I'm going to be. Now, I understand, though, that you really didn't start wearing a wig with any regularity, really, until this competition. In fact, you've act actually competed without the wig. In in the past yes. and you're it sounds like you're equally comfortable with or without absolutely. it absolutely when I go to the movies when I go to the mall or dinner with my family I'm usually not wearing it uh, I started wearing a wig in the end of 2008 and this is my first wig that I've ever purchased that same year and so um, it was just a decision that I decided to go with and I just trusted my heart that it was the right thing to do but I competed in Miss Delaware without the wig and I placed fourth runner-up in 2006 without it and so most of the people in your hometown know Kayla as as, as just comfortable not wearing that. And, yes. and like you said, you've made appearances without it oh, as, yes. as well. And you're, and you're totally comfortable doing that. I am, yes. Sometimes I even take it off at appearances. I'll show up without it. Or sometimes I show up with the hair and just take it off in the middle. But everyone down in Milford just knows that uh, knows me and the Kayla without the wig. And, and that's how I'm most comfortable. Are you, are you comfortable being interviewed on television yes, shows without it as well? I can take it off now for you if you'd like. See, it's it's just very light and easy, and it's just human yeah. hair, so it's very simple to just keep up with it. I had to learn how to style hair, though, all over again. Oh, sure. Because I went years without styling any hair whatsoever. <laughs> well, I say hair or, n or no hair, you were beautiful oh, either thank way. You. Thank you. But I would have to say also that it's your confidence that is one of your best attributes and who um, makes you so beautiful as well. Thank you. It's, you know, everything to do with my parents and my faith and just the values that they instilled in me. I have, I have to thank them for all of that. <laughs> well, and that's what I wanted to ask you about as well, because this first came into your life that for a lot of people you know at 10 years old and then you're approaching those teenage years that can yes. be very a very hard time growing uh, growing up absolutely and so how is it that you were so able to come out of that with so much confidence and you were just like hey this is just part of me and this is it um, you know, I, I don't think there's any good age to lose your hair, really. Even if you're 60 years old or if you're 5 years old or 10, I, I just don't think there's a good time for it. But I was fortunate that no matter what the time timing happened to be, that I had the greatest people supporting me and the right people behind me. And my parents were always there to remind me that I looked beautiful just as I was. And they never forced me to wear a wig. They never even really brought it up because they knew that I was fine just as I was. Sure. You did get some advice along the way, though, as far as competing goes. Tell me a little bit about that story. Yes. In 2008, I competed for the Miss Delaware pageant, and uh, one of my judges approached me and just suggested that maybe I consider wearing a wig, and he asked me my comfort level with it. And so after a lot of time thinking about it and um, just some time thinking to myself and, and being to myself with my decision, I, I decided that I would go ahead and give it a try. And I realized that it's just like any other accessory. It's just like wearing a hat or wearing a scarf or a bracelet. It's, it's or really maybe not... makeup also. <laughs> or makeup, right? which, of course. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's something that I wear sometimes and I, I, I love it. I'm glad that I made the decision. Well, I want to talk about one of uh, the other things that I've read about you, and that is that uh, you're a little bit thrifty, aren't you? I, can't, I, I love a bargain hunter. Yes. Tell me about that. Yes, I've had um, many gowns that have come from eBay that I've worn in the Miss Delaware competition. My walk-on gown this year was from eBay at $200. And so I, I've never spent thousands of dollars on a gown, and I will never, because it's just if you have something that uh, you can find or borrow from somebody else that's at a cheaper price, then you may as well, I think. Yeah, some people just call that 
that green today, right? Yes, yeah, that's just, right. Just yeah, saving as much money as you can. Yeah, because I think when people hear about pageants, they're like, oh my goodness, the investment. But you're showing yes. us that don't let that be a deterrent. There are ways to do this and Not do it affordably. All. Absolutely. The first pageant that I ever competed in, I borrowed my friend's homecoming dress and she spent $50 on it. <laughs> and so it just shows that you can win a pageant uh, wearing a gown that's at any price range. My Miss Delaware gown was $300. <laughs> well, this must have been uh, a whirlwind already since getting the crown. What yes. do you do between now and getting ready for the Miss America pageant in January, correct? Uh, yes, so many things. Miss America is January 15th, and I think that the best way to prepare for that is to prepare for the job. And so I'm making as many appearances as I can and really preparing to be Miss America. And the best way to do that is by being the Miss Del best Miss Delaware that I can be. All right, Kayla Martell, thank you so much for being our first person this week, Miss Delaware 2010, and I hope to say one day Miss America as well. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much for being our first person this week.